and welcome to Basi You Can Do It video. Today we are going to upgrade our Omen 30L plain hard drive, okay, because I usually have a lot of games stored on it, and to a SSD drive. So we're going to clone it using a Omi, Omi software, free software online, and um, I heard it's going to be really simple, so let's try it out and see how it works out. Let's go. Okay, so the easiest way we're going to do this is that I'm going to shut the whole system down, okay? And with the 30L, I know we have another spot that we could fit a hard drive in, but I want to eliminate the mechanical drive altogether. So I just want to add this. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shut the system down, and then, hold on, lights in a way, and then I'm going to install the... SSD driver on the bottom uh, SATA and uh, the power in the data and um, then turn back everything on and then use the software to clone the driver then shut everything back down switch the hard drive to this one and turn everything back on and uh, hopefully everything works out good and uh, let's try that out alright so I took the cover off and as hold on, flip this around as you can see here we're gonna need the data wire and the SAT, the SATA wire. The only thing is, is that our SATA wire was hooked up to our RGBs, which we're going to disconnect for now. And uh, well, that's what we're going to do. So, you, but if you have an RGB connected to it, just you're going to have to disconnect it, which is right here. This is what we need. It usually says P5 on it. So you're going to need this. All right, we're going to disconnect this real quick. Alright, hold on, just pause it. Disconnect it, alright, that's a SATA, and this, we need the SATA, and this, I don't know what this is called to be honest with you, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a tech, so, just a do-yourselfer, and uh, that's what we're going to need, so we're going to plug in our HP SSD S700 2.5 one terabyte into that, and we're going to clone it from my old drive. So let's just, let's just do a unpack. Okay, so we, it, ha, it came with screws. A lot, there was a lot of questions on that. So it came with screws, which is good. And this is the solid state driver that it comes with. Very, very thin, very light. No noise, you're not gonna hear any noise with this one. And it's gonna be perfect because all the games that are stored on that are uh, a little bit quicker than the mechanical drive. Let's just get that out of the way. All right. So I just wired it up, and I will turn the PC back on. And like I said, you're not gonna see the RGB go on because that was connected to the SATA wire. So let me turn that on. And what I was told is that before using the software is to close everything out. So everything that opens up. Make sure everything we cl we close everything out like uh, anything like um, any type of software you have like a virus scanner or etc. Whatever, just make sure all of it is off, and uh, then run the software. Okay, let's just see if the computer oh, let's see if the computer recognizes the driver. Okay, I'm not. Sh I don't get why it doesn't see it. So let me just. Let me just close everything out, make sure everything is exited out. Exit everything they have opened. Every software. That's why I go on to here. And whatever software you have that's open, close it. Exit. Okay. I think the virus scanner should be okay. I don't see any exit on that. Okay. So we're good. So now I use this software right here. It's called AOMEI Backer Upper. Click on that and say yes. All right, and you're gonna go to Clone, and you're gonna go to Disk Clone. All right, so now. Here it is. So you're going to pick source disk, which is I'm going to use the data. Okay. 
not the C. The C drive is basically your your main driver, which is that right there. We're not we're gonna change that in the future, probably in a week or two. But right now we're doing this, and this is your um, your D drive. That's your C drive. That's your D drive, and we wanna we wanna clone the D drive to disk number two. It says here, which we're gonna we're gonna take care of. So this is our source. And you're gonna click next. All right, and then it says destination disk, and it, disk number two, and you're gonna click next. And then what I was told, okay, source disk to disk two, okay. Then I was told that you wanna make sure you check SSD alignment, okay, and then start cloning. Let's see what that's it. Let's see what's gonna happen. They said it's gonna take a little bit, so let's just see what happens. We'll be right back. So right now it's been maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I got congratulations. The clone task has been completed successfully. Okay. Now we have tips to handle the old disk and learn more. We don't need to know this. Okay, so we just close this. Finish. Close this. Let's open uh, desktop, this PC, and there you go. Data and E. 638 and 93. So now what we're going to do is shut down the PC. It's going to be the easiest thing I've ever did. Shut down. And when the computer shuts down, I'm going to switch to drivers, and that should be your new D drive, the SSD, instead of being an E drive. We should read it as a D drive, and like nothing ever changed. And then I'm definitely going to order the M2, M.2, the big M.2, and uh, clone that one. That will be next. All right, so let's let's take this driver out and switch them. It's going to take the P4 out of the hard drive. Okay, and the data, see that? Leave it to the side. And to take the disc out, you're going to squeeze these two clamps and pull the disc out. Dude, this is ridiculously easy. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to unmount this. I'm going to take the screws off. I'll figure it out. And I'll be able to record. I'll take the screws off and then we're going to mount the hard the SSD drive onto this board and put it onto its place. What we're going to do is we're going to pop these washers out, these clips, onto the side. They just come right out. Get, a, get like a screwdriver and pop them out on both sides. Okay? See? One over here. And over here. And then you see that we could push this driver down and both clips come out on top. So now this driver is free. Okay, you can save these clips. Uh, let me grab the other one. Save these clips. All right now, if you see here, here's your board, here's your hard drive. You see the screws on the bottom? They line up perfectly with the screws on the bottom of the board. Here, you see? It's going to look like that. So we're going to screw this on right now. So I'm going to mount the SSD driver to the original board. And I used Jenga to help me because I have to hold it with one hand. So you, I told you about the four screws right here that lines up with these four screws. Which we're going to put them right here like this. Okay. Gonna drop a screw. Like that. Doing this one hand, guys, so you're gonna have to bear with me, okay? Oh, look at that. I got it in. Alright, so that's one. Alright, just to show you guys how I do it. Two for two. And the rest will be easy. Well, I spoke too soon. Three and four. Those are in. 
that's how it looks okay and it's gonna go in like this like a pretty actually you know what let me flip this upside down make it like this there you go boom clipped right in so now I'm gonna put this the p4 cable into it okay and the data there you go that took over this mechanical drive okay fast simple lighter less heat and no noise and faster the next thing I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna change the M.2 this is what you want to keep your eye on I'm gonna make it into a one terabyte so right now it's 256 I'm gonna upgrade it to a faster one but let's just see how this works out so everything is plugged back in. I put the SATA back onto my RGB. So I'm gonna turn it back on. There we go. Oh, look how nice. Look how nice. Okay. Okay, let's let everything load back up. Okay, give it a, let's see if everything turned out well. Oh, come on, baby. All right, so let this load up and we're gonna get... Okay, sorry, that's my VPN client. You don't wanna see that. No. All right. This PC. That's it, there it is. It's all clone. Don't just double click on it. Everything's on there. All the games are on there. Alright. Everything was good. The only thing we have, the only problem we have is that, remember, I had a Windows C drive, which is the M.2, and the hard drive was supposed to be D, not E. So we're going to change that by going to Disk Management. Okay? This is Disk Management. Click on the driver that you want to change, which is E. Okay? Then you're going to say change drive letter and pets, right? You're going to say change, assign the following, okay? And you're going to make it into D. Then okay. All right. Yes. Because we have nothing that's on. Okay. Okay. That's it. So now I'm going to restart the computer and double check everything else. I restarted the computer. Everything looks good. Let me try it again. And you're gonna go, let's see. Desktop, this PC, and boom. C and D. That's it guys, all done. So, Everything looks great. Let me just load up a game, make sure everything loads up. Let me load up. What the hell can I load up? I don't know what to load up. Oh, let me load up this. Let's see. Play game. Oh, yeah, baby. It works. That's from my D drive. That's from my D drive, guys. There you go. SSD. I took the mechanical stuff out. We don't need that. I'm going to mark it as the stock Omen D drive and just store it away somewhere. All right. Let's so make sure it's good. Looks good so far. Looks really good. Deathmatch. Looks good, guys. Everything's operating fine. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Free for all. Oh, yeah, everyone. she looks good. She looks good. Yeah, she's operating really good, guys. First blood. All right, just want to make sure she's right. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah, she's pretty good. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I can say. If you like this, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, if you want me to do something else to my PC, go ahead and ask, and I'll try to do it. And uh, But the next thing I will do is change the M.2 and for a big M.2. And then, who knows? Graphics card will be next, and other little things, and uh, that's about it. All right, thank you again. Let's see.